Hello there, welcome back to my channel. I am freshly back from vacation and I thought a good way to get back in the groove of filming was to do a good old fashioned get ready with me. I have several products that were sent to me in PR while I was gone or right before I left, including all of the new Laura Geller cheek tints. I have several products from Ciate London that are beautiful. I also have a few other products either that I purchased in New York or that I found in my collection and I used on my trip that I fell in love with. So if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Now let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna start off with a little eyeshadow primer. I'm using the Thrive Cosmetics Eye Lift 360 Eyeshadow Base. I pulled this out just right before my vacation and I forgot how good this stuff really is at keeping your shadow in place. It also has anti-aging properties in it, you know, all the good stuff. Now for a little moisture on the lips, I'm going to use the Ciate London Bronze Glow Shimmering Lip Oil. And this does have a slight sweet scent. It's really nice and light and hydrating. It doesn't provide as much color as I was hoping or shimmer, but it is a nice kind of prep your lip step. Now for foundation today, I'm just going to zoom through this because I'm going back to good old faithful Bare Pro liquid foundation. And I think Sandstone 16 is going to get me pretty close. I have Sunless Tanner going on right now, so it's always a little trickier to match perfectly. For brushes today, I'm going to be using kind of a mix and match of a lot of different new brushes out there. I picked up the new, there's two new sets of Real Techniques brushes. They have kind of these um, translucent handles on them and they're quite different shaped brushes. I'm going to use this one. It's called the Blurring Concealer Brush. It has more duo fiber tips on it. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to paint this on my face and then go back with a damp beauty sponge and kind of further sheer it out and it just gives the face a really nice airbrushed look without being too heavy. And of course, I do already have my sunscreen, my moisturizer, all of that on. Okay, we've got that all blended in. Now I didn't put anything under my eyes. I know, hang with me, we gotta do eyeshadow. So Ciate London sent me a very nice package of a couple of brushes, we'll use those. They sent me this eyeshadow palette, which is called the Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette. So Ciate London, I wasn't real familiar with this brand, but they use really good ingredients. They have a lot of products that are considered like a hybrid between skincare and makeup. So. I think that's a really good thing. But this eyeshadow palette, I was like, oh my word, it's beautiful. Now I will pop up on the screen some swatches. These are soft shadows. Their formulation is soft, a little bit dusty in the pan, but they do transfer very well to the eyes. So there isn't a cream brow bone shade in here. So I'm gonna dip into their olive eyeshadow palette, which they sent me earlier this summer. Beautiful, if you love greens, it's really pretty. I'm gonna go in with this, and this is one of their new brushes. This is in a collaboration with Hannah Martin, and this is their fluffy eyeshadow brush. And I'm just gonna try this out. I haven't actually used this brush before. So it's very soft, not super dense, but it seems to be laying down the product just fine and blending it in. All right, now I'm going to use tape. And in that kit of Real Techniques, it came with some tape that you can use for your eyeshadow. It's very interesting, but I like it. It's sticky, so you do need to kind of take some of the tack off on your hand, you know, put it on, peel it off, so it's not too sticky. But I love that it's darker colored so you can see where you're placing it. So I'm going to use this as a guideline. We have an eyeliner duo from Ciate London, including like one of those winged liner pins. So I find this really helpful to get us kind of a pattern of where we need to go. I think it's pretty even. If not, we'll just tilt our head, right? <laughs> the trick is with hooded eyes, you need to make sure that you put your tape outside of the fold. So you can see I am beyond the corner of my eyes. If you don't have hooded eyes, just go right from the corner 
it's even easier for you. All right, we're gonna go into this palette and I'm gonna to switch to a fluffy brush for the crease, fluffy er brush. This is the Morphe M504. And let's use a combination of this caramel shade and a little bit of that stony gray. So you can see there is some kick up in the pan, but as I apply it, you'll see that the color transfers very well, even though I'm using a very fluffy brush. So I'm just gonna blend that through the crease, making sure to overlap the edge of that tape and build up the color. Going back to that fluffy brush from Ciate London, I'm gonna go in with this shade and we're going to just use this to deepen the outer corner a little bit. I do want my winged liner to really pop, so I'm not gonna do too dark a shadow out here. I think it helps it kind of just blend the whole look together, add a little more depth here. That pretty, oh, making me really think about fall. For the lid, I'm gonna go in with this beautiful shimmery bronzy shade, so pretty. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna use this from about the, just either side of the center there. Blend it into the outer corner shades. Isn't that pretty? That's kind of some plum tones to it. And then I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna do this one. This one is still gold, but it's not quite as, you know, yellow gold as this one is. We're gonna go in with this one. And I'm gonna do this kind of mostly from the inner corner, not all the way, but I'm gonna say from the corner of the eye, overlapping that bronze shade. What this is gonna do is just help bring light and a nice gradation of a shimmery color. So pretty. Nothing easier than using your fingers to apply eyeshadow, right? And then some of you are going to be like, this is so extra. I'm going to use a little bit of this right now, and then I will add more after we do our concealer. But I just like how this looks overlapping that gold a little bit. Again, it's just kind of like the artist who chooses to add a few more colors rather than just one. Adds more depth of color, a little more shine. Isn't that pretty? On the lower lash line, I'm gonna use the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen, something I've had forever I forget about. This is Matte Mulberry. And I'm just gonna put this on the lower lashes, about not quite halfway across, and then I'll smudge it with my finger. Now let's try the Ciate London Eyeliner Brush. It's angled. And I'm gonna go in with the deepest shade in the palette and use that to set the liner in place. And I'm going to make sure I go all the way to that tape. And then just press this. This is a very soft brush. So soft but firm, which is really important. If you're going right along your lash line, you don't want anything stickery, right? Hmm. Love that, okay, that worked very well. All right, the funnest part, let's peel off the tape. And you'll see, it didn't. I didn't think this would be as sticky as it is, but it really does stick. But do you see that nice line? Okay, let's finish up with some eyeliner. This is the Fierce Wing Duo. It comes with a double-ended wing stamp. And what I love is they say one is the right eye, one is the left eye, so there's no guessing. And then it comes with a nice, fine, tipped liquid liner that does have a shaker ball. So let's start first with the stamp. Now I've never been real great with these things, but yesterday I used this and got it right the first time. So I don't know if it was beginner's luck, but we're going to try it again. All right. So I need to kind of relax my eye to find the placement. And now... I know that looks funny, but I have to go low enough for my hood there. All right, right eye done. Let's go to the other eye. Okay, I didn't press quite hard enough on that one. That's okay. All right, 
Now I'm going to take the fine liner brush and I'm going to now connect that to my lash line. And I'm also going to extend this just slightly because, you know, it's not called fierce wing for nothing. Now let's use a little almond oil. I like the Now Solutions brand. And I'm going to clean up under the eyes. See how easy it was to just correct that little edge of the liner there. Okay, it does not say that that is waterproof, so just FYI, but it is infused with good ingredients to help nourish your lash line. So that's always a plus, right? Okay, for our under eye concealer, and pull out this duo, just a little dot of the Natasha Denona Color Corrector. And I have C3. So a couple of dots. And, you know, sometimes I do color corrector, a whole layer, and then concealer. But for some reason, with this concealer, I feel like you can kind of blend the two and do just one real light layer. And it seems to work well. So that's what I'm going to do here. Just try to keep from getting too many products under the eyes. And I'm going to use that Real Techniques. It says it's a blurring concealer brush. So let's use that to just blend that out. Oh, it looks so much better. <laughs> I'm going to go in with cream bronzer for my contour. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzer in 02. And by the way, I will list all of these products in the description box along with the shades I used. And I'm going to use the Real Techniques brush. It's called the Flat Contour. So let's just stamp this on the face. I only used this once and I don't remember how it worked. <laughs> I have to go in and blend it with my BK Beauty brush, but it definitely laid down the product very quickly. It's very soft. These brushes are super soft. Okay, I think I like that. The only thing is right here, kind of where the contour stops, I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and just help that to fade out because I don't want like that rounded shape right there. <laughs> I'm gonna blend that out. All right, now let's try some of the new Laura Geller Cheek Tints. So she was so kind to send me all of them. So these are a serum blush and it says that they provide a refreshing cooling sensation and the perfect watercolor like finish of color. Hyaluronic acid and polysaccharide keep skin hydrated and protect against moisture loss for youthful looking supple cheeks. Dabs on smoothly without messing up makeup underneath. Go for a natural flush finish or build it up for a more pigmented look. So those are all the things that I'm looking for in a, in a cream blush. So let's see, I will swatch all of these and put it up on the screen for you. But on my cheeks today, maybe I could probably do two. I think I might start with Refreshing Rose and then we might add a slightly deeper shade. At first I thought I needed to assemble it, but this is an extra spare clean sponge tip so you can put this in the drawer and save it for later. I like that. Remove to clean. Okay, so you can actually remove this tip somehow. I don't want to do it, mess it up, but you can remove it and clean it, but you do also get a spare. All right, let's see how many clicks it takes to click up the color. Okay, that was like, I don't know, 30, <laughs> but it did start coming up. So these are always tricky. I never know. I don't want to turn up too much. All right, let's give this a try. Okay, I can actually stand for more. Oh, it is cooling. Nice. Oh, okay. Let's get my brush here. Where is my brush? Okay, for the moment, I can't locate my brush that I was going to use. My desk is a disaster, but wow. Okay, that worked in very easily with the finger and it doesn't look patchy or anything. Oh, that's pretty. That's quite a lot of color. So uh, these deeper shades, I could see those working really well on deep skin tones, but even some of these lighter shades, 
I think you can get a lot more color than you might think. Oh, that's really pretty. And it does, it feels really nice and cooling, but very lightweight. It does feel like a watercolor, similar to the Daniel Sandler watercolor blushes, but these have that extra cooling sensation. Oh, that's really pretty. Almost afraid to go in with any more color. Might end up with too much color on my cheeks, but let's just check out this other one, True Tawny. Oh, Gracie decided she went to say hi. Look how much she's grown. Oh my goodness, I was gone 11 days and I came back and I swear she's like a teenager. She's so tall <laughs> and she didn't forget all of the training, but almost. And of course, my husband, um, the first night I was gone, had her in bed with him. So no more crates overnight. That's okay. She's doing really well. But isn't she just a cutie pie? Yes. You had to get in this video. It wouldn't be a get ready with me if you weren't. Yes. Yes. Yes, you should a good girl. Look at those lashes. Just look at those eyelashes. Okay. Where were we here? <laughs> and a few, few kisses here. Okay, we were clicking up this true tawny. Okay, well, I'm just gonna put two little dots right there. Oh, okay, so this is a little cooler than I thought it might be. But still really pretty. Of course, I'm going over that other blush, but you can see a slight difference there. All right, I'm gonna stop there because I want to get too carried away here but really nice i will definitely keep you posted how they wear but a fun little tidbit is in a couple days from filming this video i'm going to be going to a laura geller launch event i'm so excited so i'll be sure to share with you all either on instagram or here so make sure you're following me both places all right next thing let's add some powder okay gracie's going to help me tell you about the everyday vacay coconut setting powder. It's lightly scented. Let me just see. I don't know. I mean, it's so light that you really can't really smell it. It says that this finely milled and lightweight powder smooths over makeup for a crease-free soft focus finish with no flashback. So I like this powder, but for my more combination oily skin, it does not keep me oil free all day but it does really give a nice finish at the beginning so i'm going to go ahead and show it to you i'm going to use the sigma f24 brush and i'm just going to apply a little bit now i don't this doesn't work for me under the eyes but on the face i'm just going to use this to lightly set my face here what do you think hmm? does that smell good gracie likes coconut oil <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. Yes, you do, don't you? Yes, you do. So as I'm applying it, I can smell a little hint of that fragrance, but it's not overpowering. They said they added that just to help transport you to the beach, right? That's kind of what do you have? <laughs> what do you have? No, that's not what Laura Geller sponge tips are for. No. Okay, thank you. Drink cool. Okay, so I powdered the face and you can see it did provide an overall smoothing effect on the skin. It feels very lightweight. It does not feel powdery or dry or anything. So if you have normal to dry skin and you just kind of want to take a little bit of a shine away without drying out your skin, that's a good powder. But for me, I always feel like I need to go through kind of on the pore area with a different powder. I'll do that in a moment, but first I'm going to show you this little trick that my best friend was telling me she did. I tried it yesterday and loved it. I'm using the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation. Now I have the medium shade. I wanna try this with the tan shade as like a bronzer. I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 103 brush and just going to just put this over the tops of the cheeks. And it just really kind of perfects the skin there. It locks in your blush and your cheek color provides a little bit of glow. I don't know. It's just beautiful. Now I'm using the medium shade. This shade is too pink for me all over. So I was trying to figure out how I could use this powder and I used it this way yesterday and I just loved it. I thought it really made the cheeks just look so pretty. Look at that. Just really refines the skin. 
All right, one purchase I did make while I was in New York was the House Labs bronzer. And I picked up the shade Light Level 4. One of you told me I really needed to try this bronzer and I have been enjoying it. When we were in New York, we did go to the Times Square Sephora just for fun. And of course it was raining like crazy that day, but we still had a fabulous day. We went to Serendipity first for lunch and frozen hot chocolate. Oh my goodness, it was delicious. And then we did some shopping and it was just so fun. Isn't that beautiful? So this is a super smooth formulation and they do have lots of different shades, cooler, warmer. And as we were swatching them, this is just the one I thought would go well going into kind of fall and winter for me. So What's Up Beauty has sent me a few things. They've sent me some brushes and then they just launched two gorgeous highlighters and a highlighting brush to go along with it. So these are called Serengeti highlighters and the packaging is stunning. And this first shade is called Wild Acacia and they're two tones together. And I don't know, yeah, you can see there, it's fully embossed, so beautiful. And so you can do just one color, you can do this other color, or you can combine the two. And these highlighters are talc-free, clean, cruelty-free, vegan, and they have moisturizing ingredients. This color is Safari Sunset. And you can see this color is a little bit deeper. Let me just swatch these two here for you. You can see those two combinations there. The top color is similar, but this one is the one that is slightly deeper. And oh my goodness, this formulation, it's so smooth. There's no glitter particles and just wait till you see this on the cheeks. Okay, let's use their brush. Now their brushes do remind me a lot of the rougher brushes. They're super soft, have a similar kind of hair component. So really nice. And let's go in, I'm just gonna use the kind of gold side. And let me just put a little bit, I mean, a little bit, blending that into the cheek. Do you see that? It's so pretty. A little bit on the top of the nose and the cupid's bow. Do you see how pretty that is? So smooth. Let's just go into this other one and I'm gonna use this a little lower. Ooh, wow. Have the serum blush already, so my cheeks are really seriously glowing. All right, let's powder under the eyes. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Micro Finishing HD Powder. I'm going to bring a little bit of that powder in the T zone as well. Let's go back to our palette, and I'm going to use a little bit of this in the inner corner. Now before lashes, I have a new old brow pencil. I've had this in my collection. I kept forgetting it, but as I was packing, I remembered I had wanted to try this. It is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil, but this is the micro. And this thing is like magic. If you hate doing your brows like I do, you're gonna love this. It not only has a micro point, but this micro point is actually flat. It's not a pinpoint. This made my brow fill in on my trip so much easier. Oh my goodness. And quicker. So I'm just going to scooch up here and fill in. It allows you to just get a tiny little bit where you need it and not go overboard. Add some clear brow gel. So it's just the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I tell you, this stuff lasts forever. <laughs> All right, let's curl the lashes. I'm gonna go in with this detailed lash curler just right here on the outside edge. Now for mascara, you know I love the Ciate London Triple Shot XXL Mascara, but they also sent me their Wonderland Mascara, and it's supposed to be intensely volumizing. It is supposed to be the blackest black and smudge-free formula. I've not had any issues with smudging, but I am pairing it with a primer. So I'm gonna just use the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. 
Now, I don't like to let my primer fully dry because then it makes your lashes kind of crunchy and harder when you go to kind of comb through with your mascara. So I'm going to apply the primer on my lower lashes as well, but after I do my upper lashes. So this brush is quite big and it's more like that hourglass shaped brush. So I prefer this brush and that formula a little better, but this one's actually pretty good. All right, mascara is done. Let's do the lips now. I'm gonna go around the edge with the Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Okay, for our lip combination, I really wanna do something kind of brown tone because I have a beautiful gloss to put on. And the closest I have to what I have in my brain is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk 3. Now this is so dark, so I'm gonna be careful to blend this in. And go in with a very light hand. I know the 90s lip look is coming back. And so if you're interested in that, this is definitely a pencil that could get you there. Now I am going to add a little bit of this Armani Power Lipstick and it is in the shade 104. These are so amazing. I took this on my trip and I kid you not, it lasts all day long and it won't dry out your lips. I had color after eating. It was just one of the best things that I could have taken with me. And I love this color. There's a couple that have kind of a neutral tone, but this one, I had this in my stash and I just forgot how much I loved it. I'm gonna use that just as a base. Now for my lip gloss, this is a limited edition shade. This is City Lips and it's Sparkling Cider. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my word. I have loved wearing this. This just came out, I think on the 22nd of September. So it's just, ah, uh, so pretty. Mm. And it just has their traditional kind of sweet vanilla scent, but I love the shimmer. And these are not painful plumping, by the way. All right, so I have Miss Gracie here on my lap, so <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes. But I fixed my hair, put in some bold gold earrings and this top that kind of makes the whole look a little more monochromatic. And now here is the finished look, and I love it. I think this is a just a gentle ode to fall, but you could really do this look kind of year round, maybe change out the lip color. My favorites, of course, um, Gracie loves my earrings. She's saying that's her favorite, but one of my top, top favorites is the chocolate palette from Ciate London. I mean, you know, Sherry Lee's box of chocolates. It's so appropriate. And I just think the tones in here and how they perform, I think it's a great little palette. I love, love the cheek blushes. Those are so easy. I haven't found a cream blush that I can really literally just tap in with my fingers in a very long time and I didn't use a brush and you saw how easy those blended in so really impressed with those these highlighters are gorgeous oh my goodness it's been a long time since I have been this head over heels over a highlighter it's beautiful and then let's not forget Sparkling Cider. Not only the name and the beautiful look in the tube, but it feels nice on the lips. There's no chunky glitter particles, so you don't have to worry about that. And then our brow pencil, nothing new, but I'm so glad I found this. This has sped up my brow routine so much. So overall, I feel like I found a lot of great winners that I'm going to be incorporating into my regular routine. So I hope that you enjoyed this. And as always a reminder, you don't have to use this many products and I don't use this many products in one day. I mean, you know, two blushes, two highlighters. I don't always do that, but I know some people get a little overwhelmed by how many products I use in these kinds of videos. But again, these videos are just more about testing new things to help you find maybe that one or two new product that you want to incorporate into your routine. So try not to get overwhelmed. But if you saw something you love, check the description box down below. I always list 
and link all of the products down there. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your patience as I've been a little helter skelter and not quite consistent with my uploads between getting the puppy, the piano concert, vacation. I just feel like I've just been running around with my head cut off trying to get things done and then I'm like, oh yeah, a video. What am I gonna film this week? So I'm going to try to get back on a more regular schedule and we have lots of fun things coming up. Not only the Laura Geller event that I mentioned, but also the Sephora VIP sales coming up. So I'm planning a couple of videos about that. I have some other fun hair salon visits coming up. Oh my goodness, a couple big changes. So stay tuned for those. And thank you again so much for watching. Check the description box down below for links and a list of everything that I used today as well as the vacation vlog and other recommended videos. I'll tell you what's on my nails and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.